Does your baby fuss at diaper change time? Maybe just cries or even screams and kicks? I'm going to tell you exactly how to solve this problem step by step coming up. Hi, I'm Holly McQueen, the Mommy Answer Lady. I'm a certified parent educator, mom of nine, and author of the book and online course, How to Train Your Child to Behave. Right here, you will find new weekly step-by-step -step instructional content to help you become the most effective parent you can be, so please subscribe right now. First, I wanna say this episode is not supposed to address a baby crying because they have a diaper rash. That is different, and I will make a separate video about how to deal with that. That's a medical issue and not a behavioral one. If they have a rash, these instructions do not apply. Before I get into the step-by-step, -step, I want to give you a few tips to do to avoid diaper change behavior issues from the beginning. Start off by making diaper time fun. One thing that can make a child feel like this is not a good thing is your attitude when it comes to diaper change time. I know it's not really fun to clean up a poopy diaper, but don't let your child know that. Have a happy spirit from the start. Put on a smile, act excited about the idea that it's time to change their diaper. Make up a little diaper change song that you may always sing as you take them to their changing table and talk to them the whole time, looking at them as much as possible. Another good idea is to have a special diaper change toy or two that they only get when they're having their diaper changed. I've heard some say that a little snack like crackers or something that they always get when they get their diaper changed is a good idea. I personally see that as dangerous because they will be laying on their back and that is a choking hazard, so I would not suggest that. These instructions are basically for a child who is at the age of six to eight months or older. Normally, a smaller infant is not going to fuss and scream at diaper change time unless they have a rash or another medical issue. But let's say you're having trouble with your child who is at that age or older, they fuss, scream, kick, and generally fight you all the way each time they need their diaper changed. There is no rash issue. You place them down to change their diaper and as usual, they kick, scream, and fight you. Here's what to do. Number one, immediately change your demeanor. Start off the diaper change initially with a happy spirit and a smile. Once you say it's time to change their diaper and they start to fuss, immediately change your face, tone, and attitude. Don't continue like everything's okay and you're happy when they are behaving badly. Make it clear that this behavior is not acceptable by your attitude and response. Number two, address them directly. Look them straight in the eye and say very slowly and articulately, no fussing with a low tone, with your eyebrows down. This makes it very clear that you will not accept this behavior. Number three, do not fight them. It's important that your child comply and allow you to change their diaper without a struggle or conflict. So don't allow one. They must learn that this is not acceptable and that you will not allow it. If you are struggling with changing their diaper, stop and do the next steps before continuing. Number four, apply the CTM method. As soon as they start to scream and cry at a diaper change, you need to apply the CTM method. If you do not know what that is, I'm going to briefly go over it here, but there is a 15 minute video on the Mommy Answer Lady YouTube channel or Rumble channel, or even on my podcast that will tell you step-by-step -step how to stop children from throwing tantrums. Now, I do not actually want you to apply what I'm going to say next until you access one of those resources that explains this all in detail, but I will briefly go over it here quickly. CTM is a patient and calm method that means cover the mouth. When your child is screaming and fussing for an inappropriate reason, cover their mouth until they are done. When you start, you will say gently and calmly, when you are finished, I will let go and patiently and quietly wait. Every 30 seconds to a minute or so, repeat. When you are finished, I will let go. Other than when you are saying these words, put your attention elsewhere, like hum a tune while not looking at them, sing a song, watch TV, whatever you can do to show them that you are not paying attention to this behavior other than covering their mouth and repeating the same phrase. As soon as they are quiet for even a second, Release your hand and ask, are you finished? Calmly and kindly. If not, 
continue and repeat the same exact phrase. No other talking. Do not get angry. Do not get frustrated. Keep in mind that you are teaching and training them not to behave in this unacceptable way. And if you do this, the future will be better for them and for you. Now they will not like it and that is completely okay. They shouldn't like the result or your response when they choose to behave badly. Keep doing this until they are completely finished fussing. If they start up again, repeat. Like I said, it's really, really important to understand completely about how to do this method and that you are clear on the reasons and logic that go into it. It works wonders and will work great if you do it as instructed and do it consistently. Now, once CTM method is completed, then continue changing their diaper. Don't allow kicking. Some of the problem that comes with diaper change conflicts is that the child is kicking. Just like in number two, address them directly. Communicate that this behavior is not acceptable by saying no kicking while looking them in the eye, eyebrows down, and a low tone in your voice. I'm not at all opposed to giving them a quick little swat on the upper back thigh as well, but that is up to you. It works and stops the behavior. I want to remind all of you listening that the fussing behavior is not fun for the child either. Your child is not enjoying their own behavior, but they have likely formed a habit of fussing when they don't get their way if they're doing this at diaper change time. Their natural response is to cry and fuss when they don't like something that's going on. They have to be taught that this behavior is not acceptable and that they have the ability to control this behavior and their attitude. Believe me, they will be much happier when they stop doing this and so will you. Recover with happiness. Make the end of this diaper episode pleasant and show joy when they comply. Put on that big happy smile as soon as they're finished fussing and have decided to comply and use a joyful tone to say, I'm so glad you're finished fussing. Now we can get the diaper changed and go play for a while. Get your eyebrows up, big smile and talk to them in a fun and happy tone so they will know it's all over and you can both move on. Be consistent. If you really want to have a pleasant time changing your child's diaper, you have to be consistent. Every time the child begins to fuss, you must start the process. If you do, the episodes will end and you will not have this burdensome, dreadful feeling whenever it is diaper change time with your child. Has this given you some clear instructions and a specific plan to solve the diaper change dilemma you've been dealing with? If so, please remember to subscribe and check out the links below and the other resources here or on mommyanswerlady.com. Parents, you can do this. Thanks for watching.